obvious that every Republican in the country should be asked, do you agree with Rush that BP yeah, is being treated unfairly here? That's exactly right. And that's why and that's precisely why. I mean, the speed with which both the, the Democratic National Committee, the White House, the entire structure jumped on the Barton comments shows that they understand exactly this, that this is the sort of thing that gives them the opportunity to kind of cleave the base from from the establishment Republicans, but also to put distance between themselves and BP. I mean, that's the other problem the White House ha White House has had until now is that they're kind of yoked to BP. You know, I get emails every day from the Joint Operations Center that's, you know, the National Guard and Thad Allen and BP working together to tell us what's going on there. They need to distance themselves from BP. And so it works to their advantage as well to, to have Barton and, and these Republicans as a foil because that's a political imperative for them. Let, let me ask you one, one last thing here, which is a Beltway thing, which I just don't understand, Chris. Um, <laughs> I probably don't understand it either. <laughs> You're physically within the Beltway right now, so I feel like that's as close as I can get to trying to figure it out. <laughs> Mississippi Governor Haley Barber has been downplaying the spill in every way possible, saying that it's no big deal, saying you don't want to wash your face in it, but it's okay to swim in it. I mean, he's really, really downplaying it. Now saying a, a moratorium on drilling would be, will be worse than the oil spill, the biggest environmental catastrophe in American history. That has earned him Beltway compliments. The response to that behavior by Haley Barber is, ooh, maybe Haley Barber's running for president. Um, can you please explain how that logic oh. works to me? Uh, you know, it would take the rest of the show for me to try to wade through it. There's a sort of cheap contrarianism that folks in the Beltway like. And, and for some reason, they love Haley Barber because he used to be one of the racketeers hanging out on Capitol Hill, basically laundering money through uh, Congress and the, and the K Street operation. So he's one of the good old boys. Chris Hayes, Washington editor for The Nation magazine. Uh, thank you for your time tonight. I'm glad that you are there to explain it all to all of us who are not there. Appreciate it. Thanks, Rachel. So the scientists at NASA are experimenting with a way to combine, get this, ready? ready? To combine sewage and algae to make clean water and clean energy. Ew, yay, ew, yay. Mostly yay, less oil, right? But who's not so sure it is a good experiment for the space agency? The NASA administrator who happens to own a ton of oil company stock. That very strange story is coming up next. And rest assured tonight that some of our country's finest are hard at work brainstorming solutions to the BP oil disaster. Like, for example, why not just blow the thing up? Why not just blow it up? Why not to blow the thing up? And other clear thoughts about bad ideas coming up later.